Hey guys, I just wanted to um, take today and talk to you a little bit about subtracting two digit numbers. We have talked about adding two digit numbers and today I'm going to show you the old fashioned way of subtracting two digit numbers, okay? So we've learned lots of ways in our book, okay? You guys have learned how to pull it apart and go to the nearest 10 and you've learned how to use number lines and you've learned how to do all this stuff. Now your mom and dad are gonna get really excited because I'm gonna show you the way that they know, okay? You guys call it the old fashioned way. Your parents call it the normal way. Your grandparents call it the normal way. So um, let's take a look up here. I'm gonna use my board. And I'm going to give you a minus problem, 34 minus 12, okay? Now, on many problems that you have when you subtract, you're going to be able to do it without doing something we call borrowing, okay? A couple things you need to look for. The first thing you need to look for over here, you need to make sure that the number on top is bigger than the number on bottom. So if I cover up this side, 4 is bigger than 2, so the top number is bigger, we're good. If I cover up this side, it's a little harder for you guys to see. 3 minus 1, well, 3 on top is bigger, so we're good. So we can go ahead and subtract this one pretty easily. I showed you how to kind of draw that little line before when we add it. We're going to do the same thing when we subtract. Just like when we add, we're going to start on this side, and we're going to go this way. It's kind of backwards from reading, so you're working your way this direction, which is just opposite, but that's okay. So you're going to do the 1s first. Remember, these are the 10s, and these are the 1s. That's your columns. So you're going to do 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Then you're going to do the tens. 3 minus 1 is 1. So now you look at it like it normally is. 34 minus 12 is 12. Okay? Let's try another one. How about, um, let's see here, 58 minus 36. Okay? Let's do a couple things. First, draw our line so we kind of know these are the ones, these are the tens. I'm going to write those kind of light so you can tell. And then we're going to start with the ones and we're going to go to the tens last. Look and see if the numbers on top are bigger. And they are. That's amazing. So 8 minus 6 is 2. And 5 minus 3 is 2. So 58 minus 36 is 22. Okay? That's kind of the easy part. Now it's time for the harder part. What if you have a number on top that is not bigger? Well, that's sort of a little bit of a problem. Let's do 42 minus 18. Okay, first thing we're going to do, get our little line in there. These are our ones, these are our tens. Okay, problem. 2 is not bigger than 8. Therefore, if I have two fingers, I can't take away eight fingers. I can take away one, two, and then I don't have any more fingers to take away. So, problem. How are we going to solve it? Well, we're going to go next door to the tens. The tens have some extra, okay? So, number two is going to go next door. He's going to knock on the door. Hey, I see that you have four tens over here. Can I have one of your tens? And it's kind of like taking that rod and breaking it apart. So 4 says, sure, we're going to cross out 4. If 4 gives 1 away over here, it's going to be left with 3. And then they didn't actually just give 1, they gave 10. So 10 plus 2 actually makes 12. So both get crossed out. This one goes down to a 3 because you took one of the 10s away and you put it over here. All you did was trade them, just like we do when we do this. Okay, I'll try to hold this up, okay? When you take 42, you would break it down into three tens and 12 ones, and then you would minus 18, which would be one ten and eight ones. This is how we do it in our book, okay? So this is exactly how we do it in our book. Well, when I do this one, three tens minus one ten leaves two tens, and 12 ones minus eight ones Leave four ones. This is this is what you already know. This at the top is exactly the same, only I don't write out all those words. I just kind of do it like in an in a shortened way. So I cross out the four and I make it a three. I know it's three tens because I'm in the tens column. 
and I cross out the 2 and I make it 12, and I know it's 12 ones because I'm in the ones column. Now I can just real quick subtract. 12 minus 8 is 4, and 3 minus 1 is 2. I get the exact same answer. So this and this are exactly the same, except you don't have to write out all these words. What takes too long? You guys have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So the old-fashioned way is very much like it. Only you just shorten it and go a little bit quicker, okay? Let's do 34 minus 15. Alrighty. Separate my tens and my ones. Look at the ones and the tens. Uh-oh. I see a number on top that is not bigger. It needs to get bigger. So instead of pulling this apart and writing it all out, we're just going to do it the short way. I'm going to borrow a 10 over here. Instead of three, it's now going to be two. And instead of four ones, I'm now going to have 14 ones. Because 10 plus four makes 14. And now it's real easy to do. 14 minus five is nine. And two minus one is one. So 34 minus 15 is 19. Let's try one more for fun. How about if we do... Um, let's see here, 72 minus 26, okay? Draw my little line, get my tens, get my ones. Oh, same problem. Two can't take away six. It's smaller than six. So I need to get a bigger number on top. I'm going to borrow a ten from this seven. So that's going to turn into a six. Now you're only going to have six tens. And that 10 plus 2 is now going to make 12. Okay? 12 minus 6 is 6. Ooh, I'm kind of off the, off the screen there for a minute. 12 minus 6 is 6. And then 6 minus 2 is 4. So 72 minus 26 is 46. Now, let me show you what not to do. Okay? Because you're going to get confused. It's going to happen because this is new. Anytime we learn something new, we get a little confused. And that's, that's just part of it. Let me show you something you're not going to do. Let's say that you have 68 minus 23, okay? You're like, okay, I got my tens, got my ones, what Mr. Shaver showed me to do, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to make this a five, I'm going to make this 18, 18 minus three is 15, oh, okay. Well, I kind of remember from adding, I put down the five and then I put up the one, but I'm minusing, so does one minus five, or does five minus two and then five minus one, I'm suddenly way confused. Let's go back and look at this problem. You have eight on top and three on bottom. Is eight bigger? Yes. As long as it's bigger, there's no borrowing. You went ahead and just borrow because you thought you were going to borrow. Don't do that. Make sure you stop and think about it. Look at it. If you have 68 minus 23, there is zero reason to borrow. No reason to borrow. Eight can minus three. It's totally allowed. It's bigger. It's fine. Eight minus three is five. Okay? No borrowing. Six minus two is four. They're going to try to trick you, folks. They're going to try to trick you. They're going to try to give you some where you have to borrow, and then they're suddenly going to throw one at you that, that you don't have to borrow. So just make sure you look at it and you don't get confused. Okay? We will talk a lot more about this later. A lot more. But I wanted to show you that you can do it the old-fashioned way because you've already learned the way in your book, okay? All right, that's your math lesson for today. We will talk a lot more about the old-fashioned subtraction. So if you don't get it, that's fine. You, not everybody gets it on their first try. It's cool. But if you're at home and you want to have your parents, grandparents, uncles, older brothers, sisters, whoever you want, give you some practice problems, go for it, okay? I would love for you to be practicing at home. Bye, guys.